Woo. What's going on, world? It's your man, Pat Caesar. Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. Y'all see I had to pull out the old road back today, man. Got me a little service call I gotta do. I had to put the car seat in because my little, my oldest son wants to come with me today. He just two years old. Wanna see how daddy makes some money. So uh, we about to roll. I'm just coming to get some of my good old fashioned hydraulic oil because I got all types of problems with this truck that I did not expect to begin with. We don't trip on that. We just make it work. We gonna get into it right after the intro. situation like this the customer lives in an apartment complex and they will not they need the car to be moved so he has another location to get it to but the car does not currently run the parts won't be in until Thursday today is Tuesday so you know he got to make something happen yes it's a small additional fee but you know um, that's just kind of one of the things you got to do at least he has somebody like myself that can take it for a nice fair price and I'm also going to do the work on it so it works out uh, on both ends. It's a little loud, it's 73 IDI, so you gotta give me a minute to get to a place where you can probably hear me again, because I know the decibels are going way low. I ain't got no AC in here right now. Everything is there, but I'm missing a vacuum pump. I can't hook the one I want up because I don't have an alternator that's outputting enough voltage or enough amps to be able to compensate for it. So either way, it's moments like this where I get to bring my little guy with me, you know, and have him bounce around in my old truck. <laughs> We're bouncing around the old truck because I need to redo the entire front end on this thing. But uh, right now I gotta go transport a customer's car until the parts come in tomorrow or, or th no, Thursday, Thursday, Tuesday. Um, so that's, that's the game plan right now. Now I pay commercial insurance for this, which is 1200 bucks a month. So doing jobs like this does not pay the bills. It's all on those cash calls. Now we go, that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother conversation, but basically it is for the customers, not necessarily for me, because this thing is expensive to keep on the road, especially the fact that it's older and it needs a ton of work. It, 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 it may have been a $10,000 mistake, but I'm working it and I'm gonna keep on working it and see what I can make happen from it. So uh, I'll show you guys me loading up the car here in a minute. See that car over there? I gotta move it. Yeah, hold on. So it's always kind of sketchy. Uh, I seem to run into these situations. I got somebody in the way and I need to move a car. But we're gonna go ahead and figure out a way to do it. How you doing, man? What's up? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you know where the manager's at? Alrighty. GoPro is litty. All right, we already got this thing in neutral. Turned all the way to the side. You know what? This is where I'm gonna change that up a little bit actually. No battery and it don't start. I got my son sitting in the car or the truck. Let's take this off for a minute. There we go. Now we can get somewhere. Okay. Oh no, no, I think you're good. I think you're good. Alright. You'll be able to get out, right? I can back up. I can figure it out. Alright. <laughs> you 
gotta use that manpower. Okay. Now that we even, even Steven, that's all we really need. Okay. Whew. All right, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Now. <sighs> <laughs> They had a recording a video for YouTube. Yeah. 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 You want to be in the video, right? Yeah. Daddy don't usually like to pull up on people's yard like that but desperate times calls for desperate measures this usually happens Montague what's up bro oh uh, everyone park what you got oh snap let's do it uh, I'm, about, I'm, I'm about to pick up one right now I gotta drop it off but it's only like five miles all over here off of um how McCray I'm already here now. I'm literally trying to load it up. I'm just backing my truck up to it now. That's cool. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. Peace. All right. Okay. All right. Give daddy a minute. Okay. You want to get out and see? Yeah. You want to get out? Okay, hold on. You said you want to get out? You want to get out? Okay. Come on, man. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that sun was sitting right in your face. Come on. All right, listen, you got to stay out of the way, okay? Come here. Why don't you stay right over here? Say hey. There you go. Chill in the shade. Somewhere. Find a shade. That's okay? Alright. Alright, we're going back in here. Probably should have moved the truck a little bit further up, but I'm just going to make it work. RPM. I don't like this slow business. Right. You okay? Okay. A lot nicer when it's on concrete too. The last few ones I did was on grass. A little tough, but you know, we managed. That's a bit. Now, 
course y'all know I roll a little gangster, so there's always some craziness going on around me. Like, manually cranking up that PTO, which is okay with me. Neutral. Come on. And there's no shift release. Well, how the heck did I do it the first time? neutral there we are okay back a little bit more always helps when the tires are inflated as well surprisingly for an SUV this thing's kind of light to be honest with you very surprising very surprising and all I'm doing is just lining it up as much as I can We're going to keep the ignition engaged. And where are we going? It's got all types of points I can use, so... Just in case you're wondering, I keep that two by four with me. Uh, just in case. Uh, it's not work as good as I thought it here. No That's not gonna work. And we're gonna go around the frame. SUVs are always nicer. Well, not always. It depends on strongly the SUV, really, because some of these suck, of course. This part of the frame, I was trying to go on the other side. Sure, we're equal. Everything's lined up. That looks great. To the side. Turn a little bit, so we just want to go to the left. Watch everything, make sure we're good.
set. A little bit of leak. Good? Okay, I'm almost done. I'll do this quickly. How you load a car all right Whew. all right y'all so 18 minutes man that took forever all right we're gonna put this down you ready to get back in the truck all right come on mario we are ready to go i still got this thing let me just put it in part all right y'all get y'all on the road all right so i actually just did the drop off and my battery is going dead so i couldn't record the whole thing but there's two things i wanted to note that i did not show uh, while I was actually loading the car when I got done I went back and put the emergency brake on and then I also put it back in part because I had to put it in neutral of course to get it to roll 
Um, I also, once I put it in park and once I put the emergency brake on, I pulled on the winch just a little bit to make sure that the, the trans brake also engaged for that part. So um, yeah, that is it. It's burning up out here, y'all. Good old Florida. Y'all know I love me some sweat, love me some sunshine and heat. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Me and my son about to roll back out to the house. Probably go get us some ice cream and enjoy the rest of this day until I get another call. So, y'all like, share, subscribe. Like always, mi gente, mi promundo beneficio. Peace.